With less than a week until Selection Sunday, here are two NCAA tournament bubble teams that are on the way in. First, we'll go with Indiana. Coach Tom Crean got the vote of confidence from his athletic director, but Indiana's big dance hopes are far from safe at this point. The Hoosiers have lost three games in a row, so there's not a lot of winning momentum going in this team's favor. They'll need to win against Northwestern in the Big Ten tournament, and then probably another game to feel really secure. Another team that's in is Ole Miss. The Rebels seem safe for a while, but losing three of their last four has put them in a sticky situation. They'll face the winner of South Carolina Missouri in the SEC tournament, and that's a must-win game. Every little detail matters at this point, so if Ole Miss gets blown out by a team with a similar resume, then the committee will focus on that. Two teams on the way out. First, we'll go with Tulsa. Watching the Golden Hurricane barely lose to SMU in the regular season title, you leave thinking that this is a pretty good team. But it's also a team with a subpar resume, and they lost their Division II squad. Even if that didn't count, it's one of many glaring things about Tulsa that just can't go unnoticed. At this point, it looks like they'll at least need to reach the AAC Tournament Finals, and that's doable as a number two seed. Another team that's out is Richmond. The Spiders have been subtly playing their way back onto the NCAA Tournament bubble, winning six in a row. They're still a long shot, but if they can beat VCU and Davidson in the Atlantic 10 Tournament, all of a sudden they'll have an extra pair of top 100 wins that'll make them really difficult to leave out. Ohio State got demolished by Wisconsin on Sunday, and it went relatively unnoticed because of how good the Badgers are. But here's the thing, Ohio State just really isn't that good, and that game showed it. The Buckeyes' resume isn't pretty either. They recently dropped from an eight to a nine seed, and while there's no concern to slip on the bubble, their strength of schedule is 67, and they played nobody in non-conference action. If you're looking for a game to watch on Monday night, take a look at BYU versus Portland in the West Coast Conference semifinals. BYU is a bubble team, so they obviously need to win this game, and if they win, they'll play Gonzaga in the championship. If the Cougars avoid a blowout loss to the Zags, they'll have a chance, but even then it could be close with this team, and the cameras will be shining on Selection Sunday.